let's get some text that we're going to code up. So A A B C B A D. And if I were going to code that in ASCII, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven characters. So if I were using 7 bit ASCII, that would be 49 bits that I would need. And if I were using 8 bit ASCII, that would be 56 bits. So let's try this. The first thing we need to do is to make a frequency table. So I need to count the frequency or the, the number of each letter. So, like, uh, there's 1, 2, 3, letter A, etc. So let's count these. Uh, the next thing that I do, I need to write these out in order of frequency. On the left, the most frequent, so. And then starting with the least frequent ones, I join them to make a new node. Now, 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's now a new node, and these, these things are what we're going to call leaf nodes. Now, this, uh, 2, uh, needs to now be inserted into this thing called a priority queue. And then we take the uh, 2 with the uh, lowest frequency, which is this B, which there's 2 of, and then there's 2. Add them together. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then, um, remember this is a priority queue. This 4 is greater than 3, so when we rewrite it, we're going to put it there. So this time around, we've got 4 here. We've got A with a frequency of 3. The frequency of 1. That's now our new priority queue. And we need to join these two. So 4 plus 3, 7. And now that's our new priority queue. There's only one item in the priority queue, so our algorithm says stop at this point. Now, um, this is a uh, Huffman tree, uh, and now on the left, by convention, on the left hand side, it's going to be binary bit zero, right, it's going to be one. And now, going back to this frequency table, so those are the frequencies, and then we can write the Huffman codes here. So, um, let's take the letter A to start with. Well, the code for letter A is just 1. The code for letter B is going to be 0, 0. Uh, what you might notice is the most frequently occurring uh, letter, which in this case was uh, the letter A, because that frequency of 3, which is greater than the other ones, is going to have a nice short code. And that's important. Uh, so now that we know the codes, uh, we can encode this. So letter A is, is, uh, is 1, so let's just rewrite this. So the letter A is 1, the letter A is 1, the letter B is going to be zero, zero. In Huffman coded um, bit patterns, there won't be any spaces, so let's just write it out now. So, no spaces in that, and you might be thinking, well, how on earth could then you decode that uh, to work out uh, what the, te the original text was? Well, it's easy. So, one, one is going to be A, one is still A, and then we've got zero, zero. So zero, zero is B, and then zero, one, zero is C. Which is exactly what we started off with originally, A, A, B, C, B, A, D.